What is remembered lives. Aaron McCullough. Adrian Jarrett. Al Sarachevic. Alan Davidson. Aletra Hansen Johnson. Albert Woodfox. Alonzo Maria del Carmen de Dorta. Amanda Bryson. Amara Hollowbones. Anna Alicia Marquez. Anita Weiss. Anna Damiani. Antonio Torres. Arnold Cameda. Arthur Lori Pitts III. Arturo Alejandro Crespo Izaguirre. Askia Mohammed. Baba Zumbi, AKA Stephen B. Gaines. Barbara Cohen. Barbara Ehrenreich. What is remembered lives. Barbara Tucker, Barry Boone, Bean Andre, Beatrice Dolly Crawford, Bell Hooks, Benita Bonnie Silverman, Bernadine Dorn, Bernice May Amarian, Betty White, Beverly Davis, Bill Russell, Bob Dole, Bob Miola, Bob Richards, Babu McMillan, Bonnie Ann Burnett, Brent Renaud, Brian Edwards, Cardone, Father Carl Cabot. What is remembered lives. Carlos Marquez, Karen McClud, Carol Hill, Cecile Pineda, Cecilia Kenig, Charlie, Charlie Hamilton, Christine Wilson, Christopher McGinn, Chuck Reinecker, Clara Falkenrath, Costanza Chaffee, Christopher Jodorowsky, Cyrus Bear Spurlock, D O G, David Bridge, David Croucher, David Hunter. David David Lertzman, David Makovsky, What is Remembered Lives. What is Remembered Lives. David McCammond, Diana Amour, Declan Richards, Dennis Cunningham, Deward Hastings, Dickie Haskell, Dolores Gibson, Doris Wellman, Ebony Walker, Alana C., Alana Dykewoman, Elizabeth Haley Shreve, Elizabeth Mike Sell, Elise May Stewart, Elsa Suarez, Enrique Martinez, Eric Sun, Ethel Marion Vai, Ava Castell, Felicity. 
simplicity green. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Fernando Galvan. Fernando Hernan Maria Meza. Fernando Velasquez. Francis Collins. Francisca Nadal. Mafiosa. Francisco de la Luz Marquez. Fredid Roman. Freya Holy. Gary Collins. Genevieve Vai. George E. Jerry Frank. Gigi Pipe and Capricia Pipe, Giuseppe Aldeghieri, Gray Cohen, Gregory Phillips Katz, Gretchen Werner Mockery, Grayville O, Harold C. Price, Hazel Treso. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Hector Rodriguez. Herbert Caldwell. Herbie Cohen. Hussein Taha. Ibrahim Nabulsi, Islam Sabo, Jack Gibson, Jack Kwan, Jay Charlin, James Garnett Jackson, Jamie Branch, Jan Croucher, Janelle Ryan, Janet Ann Nagai Tanaki, Tanaka. J.D. Hoover. Jean Doyle. Jean Marie Zerguer. Jeannie Julian. Jeff Craig. Jeff, my love. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Jeff Sloan, Jim Forrest, Jim Turner, Joan Erickson, Joan Helen Walker, Joe Gravel, Joe Mazlich, Joel Bergeron, John Owen, Johnny Wise Collins, Jolene Jarrell, Jose Gregorio Munoz Lozano, Josefa Carrillo Raquel de Mercedes, Josefa Garcia, Joseph Steele, Juan Munoz Garcia, Juan Sebastian Fuentes Vargas, Jesus Bozonov, Judith Lane, Judy Elf. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Katarina, Catherine Kathy Walker, Katja Rochelle, Kaya Sweeney, Kelly Stapleton, Kelly McKay, Lacey Lou Sorensen, Lamont 
Dozier, Lainey Gagnier, Lonnie Gagnier, Larry Hildas, Leroy Fiera, Liam, Leela, Linda, Anwin, One River, Klug, Mansfield, Linda Fox, Liz Height, Lothlorian, Lolo, Ome Watson, Watkins, Mrs. Lucille Frisbee, Linda Campfield, Lynn Caffrey, What is Remembered Lives. What is Remembered Lives. Maggie Silverado, Mandy Flynn, Manuel Munoz Garcia, Margaret Sofia, Maria Cristina Gonzalez, Marianne Patnod, Marilyn Golden, Marilyn Naparst, Margie Gerasi, Martin Murray, Marty Burnett, oh, Barnett, Marty Barnett, Matthew Leon, Melanie Rocha, Melissa F., Michael Kemp, Michael Nasso, Mike Denied, Mike Wild, Nisha Norland, Mo. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Mohammed Amjad Salam Dadas. Mohammed Ibrahim Sham. Muriel Roth. My unborn sister. Newton Harrison. Omar Dota. Omar Dorta. Paco Marquez Mercado. Paul Andrew, Dr. Paul Farmer, Paula Luna Estrada, Peter Graves Dunn, Peter James Gibson, Peter Swan, Fadrea Goodgirl, Pharaoh Sanders, Philip Rogers Clark, Philomena Dare, Polly Josephine Prairie, Priscilla Queen of the Desert, not the movie. What is remembered lives. Professor Luke Montanier. Queen Elizabeth II. Quentin Q. Fortier. Ray Stewart Nunn. Raffaella Aldeghieri. Richard O'Connor. Robin Murphy. Ronald G. Maxwell. Rosario Ibarra, Rosemay Dance, Gwyneth Dietrich, Rosie Aroja, Ruben Lozano Gonzalez, Sally Frace, Sam Parks, Sampson, Sandy Halab, Sharon Riles Tam, Shirley Harris, Sophia Mason, Stephanie Katz, 
Kesanaf. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Stephen Edward Mooney Jr. Steve Nadell. Steve Potter. Steve Homnick, Susan Gail Gibbons, Sydney Poitier, Taylor Burkhart, Terence Palmer, Thomas Klaus Sorensen, Tom Cornell, Tom Marber, Tony Walton, Tor Selstrom, Uncle Paul Shepard, Viola Gibson, Walt Starrett Sr., Wilma Chan, Winston Walden Mason, Yola Culber, Zircon Jim Oliver, what is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Aero, Angela Lansbury, Anne Marie Flowers, Anne Rice, Anne Shulgin, Barbara Chamley, Barbara Heather Skeels Keller Francis Haywood Marr. Beatrice Bloomberg. Beverly Coates. Princess Beverly Diane Williams. Bob Minardi. Brenda Ann Collum. Brian Jost. Brian DeRosa. Caroline Blair, Catherine Dostich Grimes, Charlene Galliardi, Charlotte Ann Smith Maylard Swig Schultz, Charlotte Wyand, Chelsea Walsh, Chelsea Walsh, what is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Cheyenne Willie, Christina Dunton, Clara Roberts, Clyde Bellacourt, Conley Shell, Connie Carstens, Connolly Hester. Coronavirus caused avoidable deaths. Dan Worth, Daniel Joseph White, Danny Hewitt, David Aragon, David Borman, David John Mikey, Dawn Williams Miller, Derek Thomas, Diane Marie Davis, Donald Oilerking, Donna Susan DeGeorge, Dylan DeMarcus Peterson, what is remembered lives. What is remembered lives for all the trees that have died this year. Earl Balsh, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor, Elizabeth McFarland, Ethel Margaret Wellington, 
Flood victims from Jackson, Mississippi to Pakistan. Francis Martin Madigan. Frank Barney. George Ann Tutto. George Dufour. Gerald Hyken. Gloria Wilmshin. Grace Hunter. Greg Der Ananian. Heinz Fremel. Human rights defenders everywhere. Igor Sasevich. Ilan Wittenberg. Indigenous land and water and culture defenders everywhere. Irving Rosenthal. Izzy Shapaniak. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Jack Darkhaven. Jack Schultz. Jacob Chewy. Jacob Joseph Froman. Jacqueline Ruth Cooney Bacher. Dox and Hattie Lang. Jamie Branch. James Earl Chomley. James Matumi. James R. Lewis. James Taws Pritchard, Jan Mitchell, Janet Ubon, Janie McHughey, John Meta Ziegler, Jean McLaren, John Luke Bodard, Jeanette Bockhold, Janine Juliet Bressy, Jerry Megadoff. What is remembered lives. What is remembered? What is remembered lives. Jim Deal. Jimmy the Saint. Joan Caruth. Joanne Woodland. John Ailey. John and Lena Hennessy. John Bankston. John Joseph Cassidy. Jolene Yoel. Joseph John Vakayam, Josh Stout, Joe Bullock, journalists in and from conflict zones, Jocelyn Rudoloff, Juanita the Desert Dog, Juju, June Miller, Karen Pressure Sika. Kariyama Welsh, Kate Karowski. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Ken Conklin, Kitty Wells, Lash Christoph. Layla McDermott, Larry Temple, Leah Burroughs, Lita Diedrich, Leonard, Liam Dupre, Lena Wertmuller, Linda Waddell, Loretta Lee, Loretta Lynn, Lori Jean Heckenkamp, Lori Mason, Lucy James Carroll, Lunch Abrams, Masa Amini, Melina Deborah Cordage, Man in the Hole, What is Remembered Lives. What is Remembered Lives, Margie Crosby, 
Margot Beastman, Margot Gurion, Margot St. James, Marianne Fleming, Mark Kinsley, Marvin W. Friedman, Marianne Pachechik, Mary Kassara, Matthew Lee, Matthew Welton, Maury Luisa Skinfield, Maya Giselle Bonner, Megan Moran, or Megan Moran, Melanie Roche, Mercedes De Leon, Michael Bowles, Michael Stewart Jobbins, Michael Gagne, Mike Riggs. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Mimi Collier, Miriam Kamai, Mookie Arthur Brust, Morgan James Gill, Nancy Thomas, Nancy Zook, Nicholas Sikoni, Nicole Martinez, Nika Shakarami, Ocean Oma Sativa Saffron, Meadow Bloom Wine, Una Phillips, Owen Edwards, AKA Sister Ivana Gnosis, Ozzy the Eucalyptus Tree, Palestinians killed by Zionist settlers, snipers, and bombs. Pat Carroll, Pat Miller, Patricia Lane, Fatima Kali, Patricia McCarthy, Patty Awen Fay Olunai, Paul Burrell. What is remembered lives. Pedro, what is remembered lives. Pedro Rendon, Philip White, Pierre Arsenault, Pumpkin, R.G. Red, Benian Tarostar, Rachel Cachetti, Rochelle Pasco Sullivan. Ralph Shrimp, Ramsey Lewis, Randy P. Connor, Richard Farmer, Rick Frommer, Ricky Tuttle, Robbie Coltrane, Robert Bly, Robert Quenville, Roberta Lang Hirschman and Leonard Hirschman. Ron Miller. Ronald and Janet Watson. Ronnie Spector. What is remembered lives. Is remembered lives. Roseanne Ducey, Rudy De Leon, Russell Marinus Nyborg, Ruth Tanaka Gray, Sashin Littlefeather, Salah Al Baraki, Sarah, Sarah Weddington. Scott Seward, Sharani McLaughlin, Sharon McMorris Longfeather, Shireen Abu Ekla, Shirley Pipke, Shiva the Bear Pup, Sonia Claire Roberts, 
Sophie Katz, Stoney Ramirez, Suzanne Jonas, Tabitha Bow. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Tanya Magado, Ted Rogers, Terry Ann Paquette, Thomas E. Morton, Tigre Bailando, Tigre Mashal Lively, Tim Haddad, Tina Moulton, Tony Coleman, Valerie Walker, Victoria Talavera, Wally Beloved Dog, Walter Nutters, Warren Russell Van Tyne, Wendy Griffin, Werner Marks, Wing Chiok Eng, Wolfgang Maximilian Kaufman, Wynn Allen Bruce, Yvette Mimu, what is remembered lives. Michael, Bela Frabi Arico, Benj Langdon. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Bernice Dolly Crawford, Blackberry Obadelli, Bobby Stein, Bruno Troxo, Carl Wellman, Carol Suveda, Carolyn Lambert, Charlene Carter, Chloe Elliott, Cindy Henderson, Clyde B. Rue, Cookie Sage, Cora Wilson, Dan Paul, Daniel Lambert, David Gerhan, David Moody, Dinah Slinky Cat Gellert, Deborah Schultz, Dina Anthony. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Stuart Hastings. Dylan Lambert, Dina Lamont, Dirk Delu, Donald George Panger, Donnie Gardner, Doris and Lighten Mannix, Dr. Jim Eitel, 
Dr. Robin Vandemolen, Ed Fitzgerald, Edith Bell, Eduardo Eloy Gonzalez Lahakaranda, Elizabeth Tufferson, Erica Carter, Evan Dixon, Evert Wilson, Flor Sanchez, Florence Rupert, Foxy the Dog, Gabriel Perota, What is Remembered Lives. What is Remembered Lives. Grandma D. Hank Gamble. Helen Del Tuvia. Henry Maddox. Henry Miller. Hui Nguyen. Ian Stewart Fraser. Igor Ukin. Ira Wenger. Jack Gardner. Jack Hewitt. Jack Lambert. James Kahn. James Myers. Jeanette Seches. Janice Gates. Jared Cohen. Jason Koss, Janine Bray, Jeffrey Meyer, What is Remembered Lives. What is Remembered Lives. Jen Govea, Jim Peters, Jimmy Kletzing, Joanna Hathaway, Jeff Bullock, Joel Herbert Kramer, Joey Lambert, Johnny Kerr, Johnny McCallum, Joplin, Judith Pfeiffer, Judy Gordon, Kai Mama, Kathleen Kirksey, Kathy Brewster, Kaylin, Kristen Skoglin, Libertha Maddox, Lauren and Felicia Moody. Layla Elliott. What is remembered lives. Michael 
Panger. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Mike Davis. Mike Nedvecki. Miriam Dayek. Mona Amber Wright Barber. Moonsong. Mr. Pickles. Nancy Sherman. Nancy Pate. Nathan Silverman. Nancy. Nettie. Nicholas Matthew Turo. Nicole Zell. Noni Hyde. Otto Greiner. Pat Midland. Patricia O'Connor. Patricia Winter. Paul Servino. Peggy Olson. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Peter Schibler. Pirate the Cat. Precious Frailing. Preston Dunlap. Quinn Berglund. Ralph Henderson. Richard Bell. Richard Roth, Jr. Rita Blumenstein. Rob Marquez. Robin Pruitt. Ron Masick. Rose Rassicott. Russ DeRocher. Rusty G. Ruth Kletzing. Ruth Ann England. Salome Schwartz, Sarah Pugh, Sarah Jane Hacopian. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Sasha Minter, Scott Captain Angus Seward, Shannon Frank Baker, Sirius Hisleta, Stanley D. Hall, Steve Moe, Susan, Susan Smith, Suzanne Powell, Taliesin Tain Gregory, Tali. Kritznen Amir, Thelma La Tirza, Tita Anti Corazon Delfino Belloy, Tita Felicita Sales Estadia, Toby Juan Kenobi, Todd Martin Dixon, Troy Correa, Tucker Toby Jake. Finn, Uncle David, Uncle Pooh Bear, what is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Vinnie Liu, Virginia Montanillo. Vladimir Shuvalov, Wilton Hall Jr., Zira, Yvonne Darlene Tace. What is remembered lives. That concludes the list of names that we received in time to include here. I, working on this list, even forgot 
some names like Haj Suleiman Hafalin. If you have any names, you'll also have another chance. Please call out any names that you would have been honored to hear today. Please just call out any names that come to mind. Jamie J. Betty Wetterspoon. Emmett Jackson. Bob Baldock. William Jackson. Susan.
Aha! Welcome! Welcome, welcome, one and all! Over there! Over there! Over there! Over there! And all around the world as this is being live streamed. Welcome to the 43rd, think about that for a minute, 43rd annual Spiral Dance Ritual. So I have the honor of being in the center here with Starhawk. My name is Georgie and I'm your MC for this afternoon. Uh, thank you, thank you. And I want to say thank you to the Spiral Dance Cell members who worked so hard on this ritual. Huge thank you. They need help for next year already. So if you are inspired or not, please, please come and join. It's fun, really. Okay. We also want to thank all the volunteers who made this possible. Okay. Not necessarily in the cell. And to all of those here at Gill Tract Farm, specifically the people of color farmers who let us use the farm on their farm day. This is their day, and they let us use this land. And again, to all of those all around the world on this big blue marble we call home who will be watching this now and later, for this will be provided on the Spiral Dance website for more viewing at your leisure. Okay. Now, COVID. I hate to even bring it in, but COVID. We have run out of COVID tests. We do, however, have masks. So, if we are requiring and I'm going to look at her, who helped found this religion. We are requiring people to wear masks during this ritual. Am I right? That's right. Okay. <laughs> if you don't believe or, me, um, believe her. Well, let's put it this way. If you were not tested here, we uh -huh. require you to wear a mask. If you were tested here, we recommend that you wear a mask. If you are speaking in the center of the circle, you might have a little dispensation so people can actually hear what you're saying. Just a little. But so. this is the way we take care of each other. It's uh, on the one hand, we feel very bad that we ran out of tests. On the other hand, it's a sign of how many people came. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Which we're very happy about. And this is all part of how we take care of our community. Exactly. And also want to thank you all for the patience you showed and showing up and getting tested. Yes. Thank you. Okay, moving on. ASL, where is our ASL person? Yay! Hey. Right there. All right. Thank you, thank Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Yay. Another quick question. How many folks are here at a reclaiming public ritual for the first time? Wow. Wow. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So a little bit, I won't go into detail, but there is a website, <laughs> reclaiming.org. So many questions can be answered there. There are also family camps, pagan family camps, Witchlets in the Woods and Redwood Magic. They are definitely always open for pagan families to come and play with each other. So, speaking of larger community, merch. There is merch for sale. She forgot hers, but starhawk.org. <laughs> there you go. And there is uh, pins and Teen Earth Magic and all sorts of good stuff over there. And other people have some wonderful books that you can buy. There you have it. And cell phones. I have one in my hand. I know I'm not a good person about this. If you could turn them off or silence them or whatever so, you know, we don't hear the various noises. Though there will be noises that are beyond our control. And perhaps a suggestion is to let the noises take you deeper into the magic. Okay. Oh, kids. 
We love kids. Love, love, love kids. As I said, we have pagan family camps. But as far as I know, there is no childcare here. You have to watch your kids. So, sorry. That came out wrong, didn't it? Anyway, <laughs> don't touch the altars unless they are interactive. And if you do place something on an altar, please remove it at ritual's end. I myself have lost many photos that way. There are chairs back there if you still need a chair. What else? Drug and alcohol free. That we were not testing for, but <laughs> we're trusting you on that one. And we already mentioned masks. Now, during the ritual, there will be four, count them, four goddesses in aspect. <laughs> the priestesses will be conveying wisdom for us all. Now, these beings have already be in, been invoked and will be devoked after the ritual is done. Done. And the specific deities are Oya, Lilith, Morrigan, and Hecate. I know, right? Quite the lineup. Light, cheerful ritual this year, right? Very light. Just like fluffy bunny. Lots of fluffy bunnies. Um, dancing the spiral dance. She will go into more detail at the right moment. She being Starhawk. <laughs> but I will say this. There, you will have help of the graces who are wearing white. Where are some graces? Can I see a grace here and there? There's one. We got one. Woohoo! Hopefully there are more. Don't know. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. There. Well, there will be. There are graces, and they will help you move your stuff to the sides because we're going to need this space for dancing the spiral. Okay. Invoking the elements in the directions, you'll see people flocking a specific movement. Just mimic the movement. Nobody's grading you here. It's all good. <laughs> Just copy. I can't think of anything else other than the intention. Is there something I missed? Um, well, I want to say a few words about the spiral. Okay. Okay. And um, just say, yeah, 43 years ago we did this ritual for the first time. And uh, it's kind of amazing to me that we're continuing to do it. Uh, three years ago we had an amazing 40th anniversary celebration ritual. And then COVID hit. <laughs> and we've had two years of ritual online. And this year, we really, really wanted to do it in person. Because there are many wonderful things you can do online. But there's an energy that we can raise together that's just very, very different when we are all here together in our bodies. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm grateful that we can be here together and uh, there's actually a Jewish prayer you say when you either do something for the first time or you do something for the first time in a year or you come back to doing something that you do and it is Brucha Atashina Mayan Hachaim Shehechiatnu Vikiamatnu Vihiatnu Lasman Hazeh. Blessed are you uh, source of life who has kept us in life and sustained us and brought us to this time. That's a prayer from my ancestors. And I say it with the sadness and the grief of how many people have not been kept in line in life and not made it to this time. And that is part of what we are mourning in this ritual. So in the ritual, the heart of it is that we take a journey to that place beyond time where the dead and the living can meet. And we ask for help and guidance there. And there we dance the spiral, the symbol of rebirth and regeneration and renewal. Um, we are trancing in our imagination. And we are dancing in our physical bodies. And that's sometimes a little bit of a logistical challenge, but ritual is where the mystical and the logistical meet. <laughs> Remember that. Yeah. <laughs> so when we get there, I will guide you mystically to sort of like uh, 
<laughs> dematerialize all your stuff to the edge of the circle. And uh, what we do is we kind of form a mass. And out of that mass, we will form two lines of the spiral. And the way that we do that is um, there'll be two of us leading the spiral and circling around each other, carrying big, tall poles. And as we come by, um, we'll hold out a hand, and you grab hold with your left hand. And somebody then, the next person will grab hold of the next person, the next person. So as long as you grab onto that line with your left hand, and you have patience, it should work. <laughs> it's been a while. So it might be a little confusing. It's also not exactly level ground. It's a little uneven. It's nature. And a lot of us are not as young as we used to be. So Speak when we do yourself. the spiral, <laughs> <laughs> we want to try to keep it rather stately and meditative as opposed to like a wild like whiplash kind of spiral. <laughs> And believe me, it'll take a while, but if you have the patience and let yourself just go with it, it will build the power. And when we get to the center, when everyone's turned around again, you know, we'll spiral in and we'll turn the spiral out and you'll face everybody and go past them. It's really nice to look people in the eye when you do that and really bless everyone with your eyes. Um, we do strongly recommend masking up for the spiral itself, Please. <laughs> if Please. you can. Yeah. Uh, that face-to-face -face heavy breathing and singing is probably, yeah. 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 It's yeah. not yeah. the most, yeah. yeah. CDC frowns on that, I would yeah. assume. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, that's part of their recommendations. <laughs> spiral dances. Yeah. yeah. It's that in there. It's yeah. on the website. You yeah. Look. Yeah. 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 Fauci said it specifically. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and then eventually that singing and chanting will turn into just a sound. And that sound is like where that cone of power, that energy rises up like an upside down ice cream cone. And we send it out to further our intention. And our intention is what we just heard sung. So our intention, are you ready? Show Tell me. us your intention. Yeah, tell us the intention. Oh, my intention. Our intention, and it's right up there, is I'll read it and then we can all say it together. To weave a web of connection that strengthens our communities, heals our griefs, and empowers justice to prevail. To weave a web of connection that strengthens, strengthens our communities, heals our griefs, and, and empowers justice to prevail. prevail. One more time. To weave a web of connection that strengthens our communities, heals our griefs, and empowers justice to prevail. Empowers justice to prevail. So mote it be. So mote it be. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Thank welcome. So hold that intention when you hear, feel that cone rising. And for those of you who aren't here physically, you can also take some of that energy, or if you are here physically, if you need some healing, you can take some of that in for your own healing. And then when that cone sort of naturally subsides, we ground it, we touch the ground, or some of us touch someone else who's touching the ground as the ground seems to get further away with every year. <laughs> um, and then we will complete our journey back from the aisle. One more time. Welcome, Welcome to the 43rd Annual Spiral Dance Ritual! Woo! Let the magic begin!
Oops. Really? Can you hear me? Segoli, my relatives. Shar Niyunyats. Waziana Niyunyats. Onya Daaga Nandia Doden. Chalagina Dia Doden. They call me Waziana in this circle. I'm descended from the Oneida people up at the Great Lakes area. I'm descended from the Cherokee people of the Southeast. And I've been on this land for 42 years. I am not a California tribal member. But I've been invited in the stead of someone who is to make a land acknowledgement. And I would offer you the opportunity to close your eyes for just a second or two and think about where your feet are, where your butt is. You're sitting here, you're standing here, you're living here on this land. And who came first? Whose feet were on this land before the rest of our ancestors got here? Whose feet were on this land? Mud flats, shell mounds. They were down there making fish nets. They were in their dwellings making families. They were making songs and they were making prayers. And one by one, group by group, they got diseased away. They got their land stolen. I know some descendants of the Lijan Ohlone. They are still alive. Let us not have any ceremony or ritual in fact, over here, the Albany City Council a year ago on Indigenous Peoples Day declared that from now on they would open all their city council meetings with a land acknowledgement to the first inhabitants, the Lijan Ohlone. The flag of the Confederated Villages, villages of Lijan flies at Albany City Hall. It took many decades and many dedicated people and many, many prayers to make that happen. I want to see if you can say this with me. Lijan Ohlone. We are honoring the Lijan Ohlone today before we have this beautiful spiral dance. Thank you so much for your attention. I appreciate it. And so do the descendants of the Lijan Ohlone. <laughs> Here we are, here you are. We are on land, and we belong to the land, and we are here to ground. So I ask you to take a deep breath oh, into your body. Welcome home. This is your body. <sighs> Maybe you want to stand. Maybe you'd prefer to be where you are. Maybe you'd like to make some sudden movements to bring yourself here. So I'm going to do that and see if anybody else wants to do that. If you want to bring yourself into your body and be here now, Let's do some wiggling. Whoa. Oh, yeah. You belong to this land. You belong to this planet. Every cell in your body has come from the earth and will return. Take a moment. One more deep, beautiful, rich, oxygen-filled breath into that landscape of cells and blood and beauty that rushes in this body and push that energy down, 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 down. 
Thank you, Earth. Thank you for holding us. Thank you for giving us energy and taking the energy when there's just a little bit too much inside of us. Now I want you to draw that energy back up into your body. Touch your body with your hands. Guess what? You're here, you are grounded, and you are ready for magic. <laughs> By the earth, which is her fertile body. By the air, which is her bridal breath. By the fire of her bright spirit. And by the water of her living womb. By all that is above, and all that is below, the circle is cast. We are between the worlds, and what happens between the worlds affects all the worlds. So mote it be. Soft breeze, breath, spiritual vision. Be here now, be here now, be here now, be here now. Welcome east, we invite east, we invite air. Dear air, unseen, you make your presence known through the rustling leaves as you hurry past, through the smell of rot and flowers, through the tangy air of the ocean, and through the feel of you on our bare skin. When we inhale, you enter us in the most intimate of ways, moving through our inner selves, communicating, nourishing, absorbing, releasing. We exhale to begin again and again. We invite you to embody air east with a simple movement that combines the sign language for thank you with blowing a kiss. Share your air with each other, with this space, with our beloved dead.
We welcome East. Thank you for being here and all that you represent. We welcome Air. Thank you for being here and all that you represent.
North. Welcome Earth. Welcome North. Welcome Earth. Ultimate mystery, be here now, 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 be here now. We enter the center. We call in the energies of divine, of spirit, of courage, of heart, energy, and love. Welcome, spirit. Welcome, center. How fortuitous it is that we gather today on this glorious day out in nature, in your neck of the woods, great grandmother and grandfather trees. Thank you for allowing us to gather in circle here in your protective embrace. Thank you. We gather here today in circle and we welcome the nature divinities and spirits. Some divine, some mischievous, but no need for tricks or temptations today. We come here willingly. We don't need to be lured to confront our inner nature. We come willing and ready, ready to go deep within. We welcome the, the spirits of the trees, the Yakshis and the Yakshas. We welcome the Gandharas and the Apsaras and the fairies and the Fae who play, sing, and dance amongst the flowers and the branches of the trees. We welcome the fairy, the Fae, the nature spirits, and all those beings sentient and insentient who flit, float, flutter and fly in the flora. Welcome fairies, fae, and nature spirits.
gathering the colors she is watching over you. So weave and mend, weave and mend, gather the fragments safe within the sacred circle kindred we then men we then men mama spider we then men silent nocturnal shy agile quick light weightless dexterous, weaving the bridge that connects the worlds. She weaves and sews delicate gossamer threads all year long. Then someone comes and sweeps those webs away, and she must start again. Giver and taker of life. She takes the threads of all things, and of all beings, to weave the new web, the thread of all who've passed, of all who've just been born, the threads of all of our grief and pain, the threads of all of our love and joy, the threads of all that has ended and all that has just begun into the Holy One. Welcome, Mama Spider. Welcome, Mama Spider. Old Chiron is watching, watching over you. Heart of the wounded, heart of the healer, heart of the teacher. Chiron, wise wielder of science and magic, learned more than any, seeker of yet one more cure, one more salve for pain and sickness, doomed to heal many yet never be healed themselves, driven ultimately to find a way out. Ally to the chronically ill, patient, compassionate, and meticulous, offering more in sickness than they might have in perfect health. Lend us your many varied talents Hold us in our fear and grief and pain. Bless us with the balm of comfort and relief as the wheel turns once more. Guide us, heal us, teach us. Welcome, Chiron. Welcome, Welcome Chiron. For you. 
years we've been waiting for mysterious ones feeling lost and so alone we've been waiting now we find them healing gathering the colors now we find them in ourselves. Embrace the unknown. Fear not. Be curious as the fog and mist wander across the land. Welcome. Mysterious ones. Welcome, mysterious ones. We are the change with the tide, the sun.
Welcome, deity. Welcome deity. Ancestors, ancestors who are oldest of the old, ancestors who carried fire, ancestors who wove baskets to carry water, Neanderthal, Denisovan, all those species we do not know who are part of our common humanity, we call on you. You survived climate change. You survived extinction. You survived glaciation. Help us find our way through. Ancestors of yesterday, be with us. Come and help us. First Nations peoples, First Nations, First Nations, First Nations, First Nations, all the way back. Dreamers visionaries, teachers, healers, we call on you. Let us weave a world that holds all of us. Let us find a way through this chaos, this confusion. Ancestors who survived the Ma'afa, ancestors who survived the pogroms, ancestors who survived the forced marches, who cradled the babies who loved each other across all lines, all bodies, all changes, all abilities and disabilities. Ancestors, we offer you our respect. Ancestors, we offer you our prayers. Ancestors, we offer you cool water. Be with us, guide us, heal us, open the road, ancestors. Be with us now. Be with us, be with us ancestors. Death is the central mystery of Samhain. And love transcends the veil of death. We stand at the veil and greet those who have passed in the past year. We invite them to finish their transition as we say hi to them. And on this day of Samhain, we acknowledge that everybody lost somebody. To the seemingly numberless, nameless ones that have been lost in this last year, we recognize you in love, with respect. We honor your lives and your passing here, now. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. Do not stand at 
at my grave and cry, I am not there. I did not die. And as we did before, I invite you again to call out names, classes of people you want to remember. Let's just do it again, please. Join us, call them out. Haj Suleiman Athaleen. Loud, call them out. Donna. They take a while to call, I know. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. What is remembered lives. Welcome, beloved dead. Well, I came to the spiral dance now for many years, and each year I was wondering what this mighty dead invocation would exactly be about. I was thinking, here we are, an anarchist tradition, having really low hierarchies and everything, and then with the dead there are differences? I'm not sure. And then, early this year, our friend, our comrade and elder, Rose Maidens died, and I just immediately knew in my bones that she will be a mighty dad that all my reservations don't hold water, that I have to sit down and think about that. And some thinking I did. And guess what? I figured it out. <laughs> Rose didn't just suddenly become mighty because she was there. No, she lived a mighty life. She lived a life which touched many people with her activism, her hospitality, and her spiritual guidance. So many that even after death, she will be called plenty of times for a long while. The mighty dead were the mighty living. And so today, in these unprecedented times, no human being had stood before us. In times where we are at the crossroads between the collapse of the earth we know and a sustainable future for us and our fellow beings, I will call on the living first. I will call on each and every one of us to become bigger and bolder than we have ever imagined. I call on us to become the mighty living, to become the powerful source of change we need now. And I call on the mighty death 
to stand with us. I call the old ones, the ones which talk to the stars and talk to the earth and found and founded the craft of healing, the craft of power and service. I call the witches from the burning times because they know what we are standing up against. Their spells still ring loud in our world. And I call the elders of our tradition. I call, especially but not exclusively, Victor Anderson, Cora Anderson, Margot Adler, Raven Moonshadow, Judy Foster, Moir Downing, Luan Bleich, Tyrell O'Neill, Andy Peck, Rebecca Tidewalker, April Cody, Copper Persephone, and I name Rose Maidens. I call the mighty dead to infuse us all with their knowledge, with their skill, and with their courage. I call the mighty dead to stand with us today in our work and beyond. Welcome, mighty living. Welcome, mighty dead. All hands on board.
and wake to dream and die to sleep and dreaming weave another form a shining thread of life So here we stand, and the gates are open. And we stand on the shore that leads to that place where the dead and the living can meet. We are confused people today. <laughs> We're not, most of us, standing on the land of our ancestors. So many of us are far, far away from the graves of our loved ones. Some of us are people who come from ancestors who were stolen and brought here against their will. Some of us come from people whose ancestors came here seeking for a better life, fleeing oppression somewhere else. Some of us come from ancestors who came here just looking to see what they could get and what they could take. Some of us come from ancestors who've been here for tens of thousands of years and watched the newcomers come and the people die and the land be stolen. There's so much pain in this land and so much grief that each of us carry whatever our ancestral line. And yet, I know this, that no matter who your ancestors were, where they came from, how they got here, somewhere in your line, there are those who stood up for justice. Those are the ancestors we go to meet today. And I can take you across the Sunless Sea to the Isle of Apples, that's how I Love to imagine that other world, but maybe out of your heritage, it's someplace different. That's okay. Let yourself go where you are taken. But all of us, you know, whatever our heritage, our ancestry, we know there is some place beyond the physical limitations of this world where what is remembered still lives in some form, even if it's only in memory, even if it's only in the changes that have come into the world because of someone's life. Or maybe it is a personality that we can speak to. Maybe it is a spirit who can come to us. However you envision it, this is the journey we take tonight. Are you ready to take that journey? because we need their help now. As never before, we stand at such a threshold right now of time and of possibility. We could move into a world of greater justice and greater freedom, or we could lose it all and go into a terrible, terrible place. And there are forces that are pushing us there every moment and every day. So take a breath and let yourself feel in your heart how much you long for that world of justice, that beautiful world where we live together, where we see each one of us as part of our own human family, where we cherish the children of all the different ancestries and bloodlines. And we know that each one is a precious, precious jewel. 
take a breath and imagine you stand on that shore where the great unknown opens out before us, the great, great, dark, sunless sea. Take a breath, and across that sea, there comes a vessel, a boat. I don't know what it looks like for you, Maybe it's a sailing boat, maybe it's a Viking ship, maybe it's a dugout canoe, maybe it's a leaky old rowboat. But just take a breath and let yourself see what that is. What is it that comes for you to help you make that journey, that crossing? And who is it? that guides that boat. And as you take a breath, if you are ready, if this is the journey for you tonight, take a step on board. Feel it. Feel the keel as it scrapes on the sand and the boat as it rocks beneath you. And let yourself set sail out, out into the darkness, out into that unknown place, crossing over and over the waves, leaving everything you've known behind, knowing what it is, because a time will come when each one of us will make that crossing for real and leave behind all of what we have loved and cherished in this life. So this is practice. And as that boat rocks, as that darkness grows deeper and deeper, you begin to smell a scent on the wind, a fragrance, like a mariner scenting land after a long, long journey. Something sweet, like blossoms. And you begin to see on the horizon a glow, like a light. And it comes closer, and it grows larger. Until you begin to catch the outlines of its form. That land beyond the land, that place beyond place. And the boat scrapes the shore. You feel the keel come to rest. You step out and step upon the sand. And you step upon the sand, and each foot falls heavy. This land, it feels older than the earth is old. This is an old, old place. And you take another step drawn away from the shore and toward that fragrant smell, the smell of blossom, the smell of fruit. Because here on the Isle of Apples, here on the Isle of Apples on Summerland, all of the trees are in bud and in blossom and in fruit all at once. And take another step inland, waves lapping on the shore are a breath behind you and you are drawn towards a tree, towards a grove of trees, towards 
an orchard of apple trees. And again, if this land feels familiar, but the way I describe it isn't quite what you see, what you are seeing is the right thing. And as each foot falls heavier on the land, and as you draw closer to something that feels familiar, something whispering your name, your feet feel solid, and your body feels lighter. This is a place of rest. This is a place where work ceases. This is a place where you can take a load off as your ancestors take a load off when they die and they come here to the Isle of Apples, to Summerland. And each tree is in bare branch, and in first leaf, and in blossom, in bud and blossom at once, in blossom and fruit at once. The smell of the flowers, the smell of the fruit draws you deeper into the island. And now your feet stop moving and they feel heavy on the ground. As your body feels both heavy and your soul feels light, take a load off. Take a load off. And you feel, you feel the air move near you. Maybe someone's coming to visit you. Or maybe you'll sit here by yourself and think, is there someone who you've been meaning to talk to here? The veils are not just thin, they are behind you on the shore, here on Summerland, here on the Isle of Apples, here where you can meet your beloved dead. This may be someone you have lost recently this may be someone you are speaking to for the first time since they passed here on the Isle of Apples, here on Summerland. Or you may have a revolutionary ancestor, someone who has a message for you from farther back. But here, take a load off your bones are no longer weary and your work is nowhere to be seen. What is to be seen is your beloved dead. Your ancestor comes and sits, sits beside you here on the island. And now, among the smells, among the bright, among the dark, take a load off and listen. Take your time.
you're not sure where you are, you're in the right place, just keep listening. If a sound is within you that needs to come out, tears, a shout, laughter, don't feel you have to hold it in here on the Isle of Apples. If you're not sure what to do here, just take in a deep breath and let out a long sigh. And if you're not sure what to do here, take in a deep breath and let out a long sigh. Any sound that you hear that is not yours, that you do not wish, let it take you deeper into the island. This is the place that once you have been, you can return at any point. And we are not returning yet from here. We are going to go, for those who wish, a little deeper into the island. But if you are in the right space now, communing with your beloved dead, your well and elevated ancestors, or your revolutionary ones, sit with them again, sit with them still. So. For those who want to go a little deeper, come with me to a very special place. And there's only one thing I ask from you, is that to enter this place with love. Why love? Because the opposite of love is fear. And you do not need to be fearful where I'm taking you. There is nothing but love, empowerment, and joy. But first we have to work on that love. Love is such a complex thing in this society. 
And just to be clear, I'm not asking you to love your enemies, to love those to oppress you yet. I am asking you to love yourself. Now that, my lovelies, is a very difficult thing sometimes because we are told how much we are not enough, that you need to do this, you need to accomplish that, and let me tell you something, my lovelies. You've always been enough. I'm gonna say it again. You have always been enough. I'm gonna say it one more time. You have always been enough. So, with that said, if you are willing, come with me, follow me to a place that is very special and is available to you at any time, especially this time of the year. So I ask you, if you have not yet done so, to close your eyes and we are gonna go there on the breath. And with each breath you take in, and there doesn't have to be a special breath, just breathe like you normally do. With each breath you take in and let go, a little bit of that fear goes down into the earth. And I've already talked to this earth and these wonderful ancestors, and they're gonna transform that shit. So, as you breathe in and you let go, a little bit of that fear, a little bit of that doubt, a little bit of those voices that told you you were not enough, that's bullshit, we're letting that go right now. So, breathe in and let go, breathe in, and let go and with each breath your spirit your soul is filled with that self-love and it is going to lift you out of your body that is safe and sound in this space being held by these sacred ancestors being held by this sacred grove and we're going to go a little deeper so allow your spirit to go down through the earth Go down, down, down through the earth and the creepy crawlies going down, down, down till you break through to a level we call in betwixt and between where all worlds meet and all things are possible and where it is neither night or day, it is. And to your right, you smell, you sense, you hear a storm coming. But you're not afraid of the storm, it is there. But that is not where you're gonna focus in right now, my lovelies. Straight ahead, you see a beautiful, ancient oak tree. And with the breath, your spirit goes to that oak tree. And as you land, you see this oak tree and you walk around it, being careful not to trip on the ancient roots. And with love in your spirit, you touch that oak tree and you are jolted with a jolt, not of pain, but of remembrance. This tree recognizes you and your soul recognizes that tree. And with that touch, the tree begins to open and an archway begins to form and it gets larger and larger and larger until it is large enough for you to walk through. And with one last breath, you leave all that that does not serve you behind and you walk inside that oak tree and you are greeted and bathed in a beautiful red light. And as that red light bathes you, you feel that connection. You feel that connection that you thought was gone but it's always been inside of you. And it calls you forth and you move through the oak tree and you are greeted with a beautiful amber orange light. And as it bathes over you, you feel the sacred sensuality, the sexuality that we were born with, that we have within us, that for whatever reason might have been stolen from you or tried, they tried to steal it away. Might have been made to feel ashamed, but it is a part of your birthright, my children. And I allow you to let that light bathe over you and you are whole. As you continue through this tree, you are greeted with a beautiful yellow light. And as it bathes over you, you feel the courage that all those who walk before you have had in their blood, the blood that runs within you, the courage to stand up for injustice, the courage to stand up for what was wrong, what was lies that have been fed to us. That courage is within you and as that light bathes over you, you remember and you move forward. 
And as you move forward, you are greeted with a beautiful emerald green light. And as this light bathes over you, you feel the love of the universe, the love that you denied yourself. And as it bathes over you, if tears need to come, if screams need to come, let it. Because that light is your birthright. And no one and no one, no one will ever take that away from you. Allow that to go inside your soul, permeate within you, to remind you that you are a child of light, a child of love, a child of power, a child of courage. And you move on. And as you move forward, you are bathed in a beautiful blue light. And as the light goes through you, all the times you had to swallow your words, your truth comes forward, but not in blame or guilt. It allows you to remember that you do have a voice, a voice that your ancestors gave you, a voice that your guides had gave you, a voice that the goddess has gave you. And if you need to, scream out now, release that voice. <laughs> See, they thought they can silence us. <laughs> they got another thing coming. Okay now. Let's keep going. As we move forward, you are bathed in a beautiful indigo light. And all your intuition, all the times that you could see what someone was, what the situation was, but you chose not to because you were in love, because you didn't want to rock the boat. It comes through, but not once again in a guilt or blame, just to show you that, yes, you saw it but you chose not to, and now you can chose to say, you know what, I don't think you're right for me. No, honey, you need to go on with your bad self. I'm not in the mood for your bullshit, okay? Let it just bathe over you to say, I take back my power, I take back my intuition, I take back what I can see, and I will always choose to see or not to see. It is my choice and no one's else. And breathe, and finally, as we get to the curtain of white light, and we know what we seek is on that other side, take a breath, and with each breath, you realize all the gifts that you've reclaimed, they've always been there for you, and they always will be. And with nothing left but love and joy and anticipation, you go through that curtain of white light, and you find yourself in another layer of the world that betwixt and between and you feel a sense of peace, you feel a sense of joy, you feel a sense of longing, and you look straight ahead, and you see a beautiful, beautiful ancient grove of oak trees, and you feel them welcome you, even though you cannot see a way in, but you know what you seek is within that grove. And with that love and with that joy in your spirit, you allow yourself to be drawn to the center of that grove. And as you approach, the trees open up to welcome you. And as your soul goes through, that hole closes in, not to trap you, but to keep out all unwanted energy, all unwanted eyes, anything that would distort the message you're about to receive. And as you allow your spirit to go to the center of the grove, and you allow your third eye to adjust to the light, to the beings there, I invite you to trust that whoever you need to meet, whether it be an ancestor, whether it be an angel, whether it be a goddess, whether it be a deity, whether it be a spirit animal, whoever you need who is going to be your guide, your empowerment to remind you of who you've always been, who you came down on this earth to be, they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you there, and they have a message. Listen to Raven. He's telling you the truth. I want you to take your time and get that message and just keep breathing in that love, and the message will get clearer and clearer and clearer.
And so my lovelies, I have one more request. I ask that whoever has met you, that you leave a token of gratitude for them to come, to have given you whatever message you received, and let it come from your heart. Remember, we're in a place of love right now. And leave that token with your guide, knowing that you can come visit them whenever you want from now on. And in return, see if there's anything they want to impart with you to let you know that whatever vision you have was real and that they're now a part of your life, a mentor, a guide on the other side. I am Lilith. Lilith, my name means night. I am the ancient bird goddess. I have wings, wings that can carry a spirit between earth and heaven. I have claws, I have talons, I have a beak, I am fierce. I am the fierce, protective love of life for life. I am the mother bear defending her cubs. I am the bird lashing out to defend its nest. I tell you that love is fierce. Do not accept defeat without struggle, but fight for what you love. I am the protectress of children. And so they made me a demon. They lied. They said I stole children away in the night. I hate lies. I do not like those who turn their own impulses into demons that they see in others, and I am your ally to fight them and to stop them. I am fierce love, love fiercely, and call on me for help. They call me the queen of the witches. They call me the guardian of the crossroads. They call me Hecate because that's my name. I am a triple goddess, ma maiden, mother, and crone. I am a triple goddess, land, sea, and sky. And the crossroads where three roads meet in some forms you can think of as an inverted Y, a line straight down and two emerging from it like a person standing with their legs slightly parted. And think of that place between your own legs. Think of that place where your own roads meet because it has become despite our best efforts, a battlefield. What is in this liminal space, the space between you and you, should be only between you and the goddess, and yet, and yet. People know me as a protector, and when they think of me as a mother, they may not know that it is because I am also a midwife. And when people think of me as a midwife, they think, oh, a midwife of souls to the underworld. 
No, I'm talking about babies. When the veils are thin, those who are not yet born are closer to the place where they can be. But do you know what? They are not people yet, and we cannot pretend so. They would like us to pretend so. The powers that we are fighting with are fighting with midwives, and they are fighting with us in the place of our sex. And as witches, we must do battle here. Own your liminal space. Fight for it, but more than that, fight from it. I am the Morrigan, goddess of death, goddess of battle, a shapeshifter that travels between the worlds. And I am a goddess of sovereignty, of land and self. In order to do battle, you must heal yourself to be prepared. You have the power within you. It is already there. You merely need to access it. And in battle, it is equally as important to know your enemy as it is to know your ally. Learn yourself, learn your allies, because it is time for us to find our powers. It is time for us to stand up for what is right. Join the fight. They have made me this violent person, and that's because I am powerful, and I'm not afraid to use my power. I am the earthquake, I am the tornado, I am the tsunami, I am lightning and thunder. Yeah, I stole my husband's thunder, but that's all right. I am all those things. There are houses in my own tradition that won't even acknowledge me because they are fearful. The men are fearful, and they should be because these are not men. These are little boys who use their power to hurt others, and I already have my eye on them. That's not the problem. What I want you to do, what I ask you to do, is to own your power. Let go of your hate, because I and my sisters who have been demonized, who have been demonized with the very people who enslave you right now, because they don't want you to own your power, and we are about owning your power. So you love yourself, you can help us to help claim your power, but you have to do it in love. Let us handle your enemies. We already will. They're already falling. They have already lost. I need you. We need you to be strong, to love, to love each other. We, my sisters, we have no beef. We love each other. We have forever. And we are so happy to be acknowledged. Don't fear us, because as you fear us, you fear your own power, and you can't do that anymore. You are the ones we've been waiting for, because we are gonna infuse you with your own power, remind you of who you've always been, what was stolen from you so many lifetimes. But you have to do that with love. And you can only love when you heal. And we are all healers here, too. You come to us. We're all mothers. We're fierce mothers. We're not going to tolerate your bullshit. But you come to us, and you want healing. You want love. We will give it to you. We will make you strong for the fight ahead. But love is the most powerful weapon we have together. They want us to hate each other. We don't hate each other. You don't hate each other. Whether you're gay, straight, bisexual, black, white, whatever, it's time to unite for the fight. Remember, if there's one thing I want to impose on you, it's not the color of your skin, but the soul that lies within. 
It's not the color of your skin, but the soul that lies within. It is not the color of your skin, but the soul that lies within. Unite, heal, love. So the ancient ones have spoken. Lilith, the Morrigan, Oya, Hecate. We say a thank you. And we know that you will be with us through these coming weeks and this coming time. And now it is time to take this power and dance our spiral and raise that cone of power to weave that web of connection that strengthens our communities, that heals our griefs, and that will empower justice to prevail. So let us move and dance it here. You may be dancing here in that sacred oak. You may be also dancing here in your physical body. So if your physical body cannot do the dance, feel free to come here into the center to bring a chair or to find someone to help you bring a chair if you would like just to dance around you. And let us gracefully move all the stuff and clear our dancing ground, clear it away. When we dance the spiral, of rebirth and renewal, the spiral of regeneration. We will be dancing with our ancestors. We will be dancing with the great ones, the spirits, the goddesses, the gods, the mysterious ones, the fae. We will be raising that power that can turn tides and shift the winds and change directions. Taking a breath and you'll find that you can move in your physical body and still stay in this deep state of awareness. That you can still keep in your heart the messages of your beloved dead, of the old ones. And how beautifully we can care for our elders for those who might need a little bit of extra help. That care is our love. That care is how we weave the magic, the web of connections. That care is how we begin to build our power. And as we dance together, as we move in the spiral, we will be linked together. So be aware. If you're strong in your body, just be aware that you are linked with those who are not so strong. If you can move quickly, be aware that you are linked together with those who need to move more slowly and care for them. Have patience. Have great patience because magic requires time. Listen to the words of the litany to the vision of the world that we can create when justice prevails. And as we form these spirals, as we dance, as we raise that cone of power, we can imagine it as a web shining with all those rainbow colors we saw inside that oak. That rainbow that represents how much we love 
our differences because we know that underneath them, whatever they are, we are connected. We are one. And those differences make us more resilient, make us stronger, make a world that is more beautiful, like that rainbow, a world of hope and a world of beauty. Let's form the spiral and let it begin now. A year of beauty, a year of plenty, a year of planting, a year of healing, a year of harvest, a year of forests, a year of peace, a year of mountains, on ancient uncut forests. Oh, let it begin like a running stream, like a wild white water river. Let it flow down through the valleys, the grasslands and the croplands. May they yield a good harvest for all those who plant them, those who tend them and who pick them. May all who hunger now be fed. May we heal the soil that grows our bread. Let the rivers flow into a bay of clear and living waters. May all the buried streams run free and the salmon return each year from the sea. Oh, let it begin with the whales as they pass on the long migrations. May flocks of seabirds stalk in the sky and the great winged condor freely fly. May summer bring back songbirds from the rainforest that grows and thrives. May they take wing in peace. May they fly over lands at peace. May all the cycles of life be saved and all the risk of change be braved. Oh, let it begin with fresh wings. The breath of flourishing forests. May they carry the voices of women. May they bring the songs of our ancestors and teach our hidden histories and awaken our ancient memories. 
Oh, let it begin in the streets of this fog ring at city. Maybe what these streets say free. May all who are ailing here find care for the spirit and the body. May we shelter all who need a fire and bed and be a refuge for all who have fled. May this be a city of lovers, of poets, singers, and dancers, of dreamers, drummers, and changers. May the old ones and the young be loved. May all the forms of love be blessed and all the colors of our skin be praised like sisters, like brothers. May we take care of each other. Let it begin with the fire the smoldering coals of an ancient heart with the secret visions in our hearts. May we tend the flame fires of life. May we fan the flames into life. Make all the works of change be done. May we draw power from the wind and sun and weave our magic from the turning moon and dance on the living earth. For she is our mother, our healer, our lover, and we Let it begin with each step we 
Take a breath and let's ground this by touching the ground. Give it to the earth and feel that energy spreading out. <sighs> that energy of love, that beautiful rainbow. <sighs> See it burn away the toxicity. See it cover the earth with healing. See it like a beautiful rainbow web that links us and unites us. Feel it healing, healing our grief, healing our hearts, strengthening justice so that justice will prevail. Take a deep breath. Look around. We have raised this power in the center of the sacred grove, in the center of the sacred oak tree. We've raised it between the worlds, and we've raised it in this world. But now is the time to say goodbye to the oak and to the grove. And to know that we can return here. And that the help that we have found here and the allies we have found here are with us and support us. 
and that we can call on them when we need a little bit extra help. Say thank you and goodbye. Mm -hmm. And feel that oak tree, that violet, that beautiful violet, that indigo, that blue, and that green and yellow, that amber orange, that red life force vitality. Moving through that rainbow and back out again onto that aisle of apples and just take a moment and find your way again through that apple orchard or whatever it is for you and thanking your beloved dead and saying goodbye. And breathing deep as you move through its paths and byways. Again, know that this is always here for you, however it appears to you. That there is this place where what is remembered lives and where the love that we give and receive when we are alive and in our bodies does not die when our bodies die. And that when the time comes for you to come here for good, and I mean for good, you don't need to be afraid. It will be familiar to you. You have been here before, and you know that what awaits you on the other side is love. Take a breath and come to the shore. And see the boat that awaits you and the guide in the boat. And once again, let yourself step in. Feel the keel scrape against the sand. Feel it rock as you move away. Saying goodbye to that aisle. And just take a moment. Any of you who are capable of bringing a child into this physical world, just take a moment and notice if there's any hitchhiker spirits. And you can decide. <laughs> you want to invite them to come along, or if you want to tell them this is not the right time, <laughs> and send them back. And the boat crosses that sunless sea, that great unknown, which no matter how many times we make this journey, is still in its essence a mystery. Until you land on the other shore. And you step out. Step on to this good green earth. And know what you bring back with you, the wisdom, the guidance, the help, the power. The power that we will need in these coming weeks and months. And the love with which we can wield that power so that justice will prevail. So mote it be. So mote it be. Take a breath, make sure you're fully back in your body, at the edges of your physical body. Say your name out loud. Starhawk. Uh, clap your hands three times. And that's the end of the story for tonight. <laughs> We're going to bless the food. But not quite the end of the ritual. Yes. <laughs> We're going to say a hail and farewell to our um, beloveds that we called in. Mm -hmm. But first, we're going to do a food blessing. 
So I'm going to teach you a song, everybody. Our hands will work for peace and justice. Repeat that. Our hands will work for peace and justice. Our hands will work to heal the land. Our hands will work to heal the land. Gather round the harvest table. Gather round the harvest table. Let us feast and bless the land. Let us feast and bless the land. Real fast. I'll sing to you, will you sing back to me? Our hands will work for peace and justice. Our hands will work for peace and justice. Our hands will work to heal the land. Our hands will work to heal the land. Gather round the harvest table. Gather round the harvest table. Let us feed and bless the land. Let us feast and bless the land. Together, our hands will work for peace and justice. Our hands will work to heal the land. Gather round the harvest table. Let us feast and bless the land. And one more time. Our hands will work for peace and justice. Our hands will work We are going to do the devocations now. All right. One, two, ready, go. Here we go. Now the old year spring comes to your hand. It is a sea of the year that now begins. There is no end to the circle, no end. There is no end to life, there is no end.
reach out and take the hand of a friend. There is no end to the circle, no end. Together! Together we have power to begin. There is no end to the circle, no end. There is no end to life, there is no end. Reach out and take the hand of a friend. Reach out and take the power to begin. Before we open the circle, we're going to have the spoken devocations. Mighty Death, aid us of the craft. I thank you for being here with us, for standing and dancing here with us. You are always welcome. But for tonight, I bid you farewell. Hail and farewell, mighty dead. Hail and farewell, Hail and farewell mighty, mighty dead. dead. Beloved dead, recent passings, we remember you easily because it was so soon, but difficultly because it's just hard. So we miss you, we love you. Hail and farewell. Farewell. Ancestors of all times and all spaces, ancestors of all our peoples, all who live on this planet, hail and for farewell. We are so grateful for your presence. Thank hail you. Hail and farewell. Bay, fairy, and nature spirits, go if you must, stay if you can. <laughs> Oh, hail and farewell. Hail, hail and, and farewell. farewell. The circle is now open and unbroken. We, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. And we say farewell to the energies and healing and love of spirit and the center. Hail and farewell. The circle is open but unbroken. Merry meet, merry part, <laughs> merry meet again. Blessed <laughs> be. I want to say a special thank you to Kevin Mogg, our interpreter, because <laughs> this ritual went on a lot longer than we thought it would, and he valiantly interpreted all the way through it. <laughs> And a special thank you to so many people who did so much uh, to make this happen. Effie, especially Effie of Giltrack. What a thank you, Effie. Yeah. And Delilah, Megan, Chris, who brought masses of stuff down from Sonoma County. Chris, who got up at like four in the morning to get here to do this. All of the invokers. Evely, who did like so many pieces, we couldn't even begin to count them. Chelsea, who was our project manager, kept the whole thing on track and manages to aspect the Morrigan. <laughs> Luna, who had the vision for the trance. And, uh, just, I'm, if I keep thanking people, I'll forget somebody, but really everybody put so much heart into this. All the people who came and helped set up and Thanking you in advance, everyone who helped break down and clean up. And now we get to have dinner. <laughs> and thank you, Starhawk, for co-founding Reclaiming. Thank you. And a couple things we forgot to devote. One person specifically, or mysterious one. Chiron, thank you for coming to our ritual. Our apologies, deep apologies for forgetting to do this until now, but I know you understand. So hail and farewell, wounded healer, great one. Thank you for coming to our ritual, Chiron. And hail and farewell, Mama Spider. And empowered justice to prevail. We cast our spell.
strength. 